let's see. Hi, everybody. Going live is actually one of the scariest. Can I wave at people? Oh my gosh. I can like wave. Hey, I'm waving. I waved at Heidi Valstar. We're waiting for Peyton Linker's joining us today. What's up, guys? See Brian Calhoun, probably with family. Kennedy, Charles, Charles L. Chapman. I want to. What's up, Nick? Guys, I'm trying to get Peyton on here, but I can't see her on Bethany, Abby Whittington, Bethany Noonan, Hannah, Megs. I like Megs. Is Megs your middle name, actually? Or did you just make that up? Is it just aesthetic on your Instagram? Scott Stanford, is it Scott this time or is it Jesse? Because last time it was Jesse on Scott's Instagram. So I don't know if, like, let's see. Let's find Peyton Linker. There she is. We're waiting for Peyton Linker, guys. Nathan Alvarez, Heidi. Wait. And then there's Hethel playing to pray. You almost got me there. Waiting for Peyton connecting. Is it working? Oh, there she oh, is. Oh, there I am. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, nice. Oh, Abby Crandall's on. Wow. Man, big crowd. Oh, Dig Kim. So many people. Hello. Right, All right, Rachel Vincent. All right, guys. So before we go any further, Peyton, how are you doing? Oh, I'm great. That's awesome. Peyton, what did you do today? Anything exciting or? Um, I've worked. You so, worked? Yeah. Oh, man. What did you, you know, work on today? Made some great phone calls. To just, some, re you know. just reaching this community for Jesus yeah. Christ. That's you just know, what we do. We can pray for them, what we can do. Hopefully, my phone. Oh, guys. That's great. What did, how are you? What did you do today? Oh, man. I, uh, I played like the little water bottle flipping thing with North, North Campus and lost. Um, oh. Yeah, I played against Randy Farum. And so sorry, 1463 years, but I did not get the win they're, for us. So today, well. so today, North Campus apparently is better at us, better than us, at least at water flipping, water bottle flipping. Did you have to pour it on your head? I did have to pour it on my head, yeah. So I'm a little saturated, more so than I'd like to be, but it is what it is. But guys, I want to play a quick game in the chat with you. So I want to play a little bit of this or that, or would you rather, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to start off. And so Whichever one you prefer, we're going to name two options, and you just put into the chat whichever one you prefer. So here we go. Mitch, did I pour the water on my head? Yes. Did, I should I sing this a worship song? Bethany Noonan, if you stick around, Peyton will sing you a worship song. I will. Probably, probably Waymaker. Really? If anyone sticks around, you should all stick around? because Yeah, just, stay, just stick around. Stick around, and Peyton will sing it for you. All right. I treat. The first would you rather question. Let's see. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go easy here. Would you rather live without music or movies? Would you rather live without music or movies? Put in the chat which one you prefer. That's hard. Would you, would you rather live without music or movies? Zachary Henderson. Yes. Waymaker is my fave. A little delayed. Peyton, this is what I recognize. With live, the chat's delayed. Cassie Carter yeah, would rather but it's live. Okay. She'd rather live without music. Nathan Alvarez Personally, music. I could live without music because I just sing so. Dude, no I way. I basically am music. Danielle yeah, would rather live without movies. I don't feel like that's actually. Why are all these people saying mu movies? They're, it's it's pretty it's pretty credit spread across the board here. We got Amber saying movies. We got Miranda saying movies. Kayla, Kay <laughs> Kalayla, Kalayla Blum. That's interesting, Kayla. Music. Let's see, movies, movies. All right, all right. That's sad. Hey, Peyton, hey, what do you have for him? Give it. Okay. Give it another one. This one kind of gives me like nightmares. Would you rather all your teeth fall out or all your hair fall out? All right, which one? Peyton, which one would you rather? My hair. I have had dreams before where like my teeth have literally all fallen out of my mouth and really? I wake up in the morning thinking I don't have teeth and it is traumatizing. Personally for me, I don't, I wouldn't mind having a bald head. I, I, I would be down to like shave my head. In fact, earlier- we Why don't were, you do it now? We were contemplating actually shaving my beard on this live actually i wasn't contemplating that at all everybody else on the youth staff was contemplating that and i was vehemently against it so i would never do that i would actually be more likely to shave my head than my beard because i've shaved my beard before and that will probably never all happen in again. favor of nick shaving his head right here on this live it's not gonna happen don't emoji. give don't even give them false hope Drop I, will your provide, favorite emoji. I, I will not provide you any false hope all right Let's see. Next, would you rather question? Because I want to change the subject because you guys might get some crazy ideas. All right. Let's see. Would you rather, okay, 
for every meal that you have to eat, would you rather eat breakfast food or lunch food? For every meal, would you, would you rather eat breakfast food or lunch food? Which one is it? Let us know in the chat. Don't talk about it. Be about it, says Zach. No chance, Zach. I'm going to talk about it. Hey, I'm gonna talk hey about not you're getting food. a lot of emojis dropped, so that means you should probably go get the clippers to shave your head. Uh, yeah, I, they're broken or something. Do it for the kids. Let's see. Aiden King says breakfast. Corey says lunch. Andrew, really? What was the question? And Laura and Andrew both agree on that. Wow. Lunchy? Well, they are married, so. And Brandon says lunch. L Hall. Oh, L <laughs> Hall is on the I feel honored, my oh, girl. My. All right, this is. Charles L. Chapman says breakfast. We got a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate wow, we that. have a lot of hearts going on the side. They're so colorful. All yeah. right. I th honestly, I think it's primarily breakfast. It looks a lot like a little pancake right. egg action I in the chat. That. The combination. That's right. Peyton, what's your, do we have another one for him? Then we uh, got a couple yeah. more. So would you rather lose your phone or lose your wallet? Oof. It's Caleb Christensen just joined. Would you rather lose your phone or your wallet? Peyton, were we looking at the same website, apparently? apparently. I mean, I didn't look at a website. I got them all from my brain, so. Guys, Blair Bryant's here. No, Blair. Wallet. Get wallet. away from me, Blair. <laughs> we're going to get his head. Get away. Let's get it. Get away. It's not going to happen. Boom. That's replaceable. Not going to happen. Lose my wallet. Blair just tried to come in and shave my head, guys. I'm not gonna let him do that. Do it for says phone. Apple Pay Baby says Danielle Gutierrez. Yeah, so you can phone. lose your wallet. Taylor you Strickland, Apple good to have you on. Beth Noonan says neither. Beth Noonan, that is not an answer. You are still getting lots of emojis dropped. Why are we getting hearts dropped? Does that mean we like my beard and we want to keep it? No, they or want you to keep your head. That means they like my beard. You should. You should what? Get into the word? We'll do that right after this question. Let's see. Would you rather? Okay, okay, okay. Make it a good one. Okay, okay. Man, do you have a good one? You have a, you have a better one. No, I think you have a good one. Okay, fine. I'll make up one. If you had. Oh, to... no, I have a good one. Wait, okay, Peyton has a good one. Peyton, take it. Okay. Let me see if I can get it right. So I can never get it right. This is my favorite. It makes me. Dusty, you just might. You just might. Just don't touch the screen. Would you rather fight one? horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses wow <laughs> isn't that funny personally i think i asked blair bryant that question at one point or maybe wow. it i think i would honestly rather fight one horse-sized duck but like duck-sized horses that's so funny because they're like tiny right i hate I, I just think, it, but it's it's kind of like I feel 100. like I would get very, I feel like I would get weary fighting multiple duck sized horses. I mean, it's just a just, just in my opinion, and I feel like it's like horse sized duck. At least I wouldn't get fatigued. <laughs> I would just know like that's not scary. They have their beak and they're just like. Yeah, but a horse sized duck is even scarier. Personally. Yeah, I'm Let's so see. confused. Cassie, how is that confusing? I mean, the question is very simple. I don't. I don't really understand what we're saying. Hey, I, I do want to wave. I get confused about it all the time, so it's okay. Cassie, I can't. It won't let me wave at you here, but I'm waving. I'm waving from here, right here. So I'm. I'm giving you that. And then hold on, I got you, Cassie. I'm giving. I'm giving. Right. Oh, I waved at someone below you. It's all right. Thanks. First off, <laughs> I waved. At, I waved at the the underscore Walt. All right. So Peyton, I think it's about time we jump into the word. So guys, just want to challenge right. you right quick. Um. For the next five to six minutes, just kind of stay put here. Try not to deviate. Try not to move apps because we know that I'm confident that today's message is going to really benefit you and encourage you. So just stay put for about five minutes and then feel free to kind of deviate after that. So, Peyton, what is our scripture for today? I'm so glad you asked. So we will be in First Thessalonians chapter 5. And we are going to pick up in verse 16 through 18. So um, if you have your Bible, I hope you all do. Go ahead and crack that bad boy open. He looks this falling apart. But hey, they say if your Bible's right. falling apart, Peyton. We have this same life. Bible. That's right, we do. But mine's cute, so. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and read it, and then we will jump in for today. So it says. Hey, Tammy. Okay, go on. Sorry, continue. Rejoice yeah. always. Pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Mm. 
That's good. If yeah. you're if you're taking down notes, which I really hope you are, and if, and if you aren't, don't I'm don't don't you know don't freak out. Just know that I'm silently judging you in my head. No, if you're taking down notes. Though, don't judge people. That's kind of nice. I'm not I'm not judging. The title of this you can title it. You can title it contagious. Oof, little. You could title it contagious. I think it's crazy, Peyton. Over the last, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. When all the virus stuff kind of came out and this whole thing kind of went down, I was not a great example of hygiene, to say the least. Correct. I, I think the last time I washed my hands before this all went down was probably like 2004 or something like that. I don't even remember. That's but, exactly like, pretty accurate. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't wash my fruit. It gets better. I didn't like uh, maybe I like I didn't wash my fruit like I was not like a great example of what it meant to be like this super clean dude but as of late like I've been like all about it because of how contagious like people have been talking about it I've been like wiping down my grocery cart at like H-E-B I've been like I won't touch people if someone comes near me I'll literally scream at them like I wash my hands like every time I do anything I like go on or like wash my hands for the full 30 seconds and all that stuff and I was curious, do you, have you been doing anything new, like, since all this has kind of gone down? And y'all in the chat, too, can kind of let us know, like, what have you been doing that's, like, you used to never do before, but now you're, like, super hypersensitive to being clean? Right. So, um, I never really use hand sanitizer a lot because I'm, like, oh, I'll just use soap and water. Yeah. Um, and hand sanitizer Jenna's, kind of like Jenna's throwing up at me right now. She's giving Sticky. me, like, a up face. But one thing that I really noticed, and it's so crazy, is, like, now I use hand sanitizer all the time. Especially when I'm in a conversation with someone, and I've already used um, hand sanitizer. I'll just like get bored and be like, "Oh, let me just get some more," and just like keep yeah. rubbing it in, like it's lotion or something. So oh, yeah. I'll sanitize my hands about like four to five times within like a ten-minute conversation. Um, so it's really a good time, and hopefully my hands are clean. But yeah. I still wash them very thoroughly all the time with soap and water. And Heidi says she's thinking about all the high fives I've given out. Yes, yeah, think about that. Mm -hmm. Think about. Yes, just years of germs, just all in one. On your hand, probably. Not. <laughs> probably That's right. But, Peyton, you know what I found to be far more contagious and far more easy to catch than any virus, any disease, would be just things like negativity, fear, right, bad attitudes. All of these things are far more <laughs> contagious than any virus, any disease, any sickness that will ever come upon us. And we never really take note of that. It's like, you know, we, right now we're doing a great job washing our hands, putting hand sanitizer on and, you know, washing our food and, and coming back and washing up if, after a long day or whatever it might be. But that's not even the most contagious thing that we face. Right. The most contagious things out there are negative feelings, fear, the inability to be positive. All of these things cause, are so much more contagious than any disease. Yeah. But those aren't the only contagious things out there, Peyton. I think there are things that are also contagious as well. What are some good things that might be contagious? Some good things that are contagious. Um, we have joy, that's contagious. Mm. Thankfulness, gratitude. Um, those are all things that are also contagious Then not only focus on the negative things, but um, just something that kind of stuck out to me the other day. Um, I just had an encounter with someone and they were just, <laughs> kind of ungrateful um just because they didn't have the things that they wanted and so it kind of like during this time we might not have the things that we want but we most likely have the things we need so we have people around us that love us you know we have hopefully all of you have a great church community um we're healthy we're safe and so those are all the essentials that we need so you might not have your favorite snack at home because the store might have been out or yeah. you might not have, you know, your favorite game or puzzle or, like, whatever it is. But yeah. at the end of the day, you have the things you need, and that is far more greater than anything else. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, like, we have our hope in Jesus himself because, you know, this wasn't a surprise to God, all that we're going through. It wasn't a surprise at all. And so just, like, keeping that at the root of all things so that, you know, when someone has a spurt of anxiety or like fear, like that doesn't have to be the contagion. No, you're absolutely right. And with all these things, I mean, because fear, negativity, all these things are discouragement. All these things are so contagious. So all these negative things are contagious, but right. just as much contagious as gratitude, joy, peace. Yeah. Just an ultimate happiness that we get to have because God loves us and not because of what we do, but because what he's already done for us. All these things are contagious. Right. So the question is, 
for all of y'all here and for Peyton and for all of us is what are you spreading? Are you spreading fear? Are you spreading negativity? Are you spreading bad news? Are you consuming so much, so many things from CNN, Fox News, Instagram, whatever it might be, filling yourself with fear as you scroll through your social media feed? Or are you spreading positivity and gratitude and thankfulness and peace and joy? Right. And a great way, to, great way to grade that is what do your conversations look like? What are you talking about? Do you find yourself complaining about your inability to do things that you used to like to do, like go to restaurants or go to the gym, go to school or any of these things? Now, don't get me wrong. These are real concerns. I'm bummed out too, but we want to make sure that we're spreading the right things. And so you can grade yourself on your conversations, on the things that you're posting. What are you spreading? Are you spreading positivity? Are you spreading joy? Are you spreading good news and gratitude and thankfulness and that spirit that we know as Christians we're supposed to have? Because like Peyton read earlier in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, it talks about we give thanks in all circumstances, not just the good ones, but the bad ones as well. In all the circumstances, we give thanks to the God who is good no matter what the circumstances might look like. And so Peyton, I think we have a challenge for them right after this, don't we? We do. So we have created a little graphic that we're gonna post and so on our story that you guys can screenshot. And it simply just says, I'm thankful for, and it has a blank. And so we just want you to take the time to just sit and reflect and be like, to post, what are you thankful for during this time? You know, it could be your church family, it could be your parents, it could be being healthy, it could be anything, just something positive that you are thankful for. And we just want to go ahead and get that flowing on social media, because that's a great way just to start filtering and spreading positivity rather than fear and anxiety and all of this negativity that's so easily, that so easily consumes us and is easier to take hold of rather than replacing all those things with truth in scripture. Absolutely right. So that social media graphic will be on our story right after this to so go get it, screenshot it, tag something that something or someone that you're thankful for and just get that spreading. Because remember, we want to spread positivity, joy, peace, the things that yeah. Christ puts within us, not the thing that the world encourage us, encourages us to have on us and holding us down. So yeah. do that. Peyton, I think that's all I have. Do you have anything left for him as far as the word goes or anything like that? No. I mean, that's all we have. Um, Perfect. We miss you guys. We hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and spending lots of time with your family. And, you know, we just can't wait to be back with you guys on person, see all of your faces. Um, so, yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. So, guys, before you go, is there any way we can be praying for y'all, be thinking about y'all, anything we can lift up for y'all in this time before we go? Anything? Go ahead and write in the chat if there is. Big or small, feel free. Let's see. And it takes a little bit to load. Let's see, Danielle says, we miss you. Thanks, Danielle. I'm thankful for my family and friends. Oh, man, look at these guys. Yes, I love that. Thanks. Zach's thankful for virtual community. Yes. That is a big thing during this time, though. Yes. I'm also thankful for technology because it allows us to kind of come face-to-face, -face, but not really, but kind of. Yeah. Nathan Alvarez, gotcha. I got you, Nathan. And then we got Danielle's thankful for everything. Thanks, Danielle. Thankful for you, too. <laughs> Appreciate that. Online school and all and family situations. Fasting tomorrow. Dusty's fasting. Yeah. Dusty's a beast though. You got it, Dusty. So it'll be easy money for you. Phase card. Okay, exactly. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. The man is thankful. All right. So I'm gonna pray for you guys right quick and then check out that thankful for graphic on the story right after this. Screenshot it, tag somebody. It'll be great. All right, let's pray. Father, thank you for who you are. Thank you for this great time. I pray for these requests. Lord, I pray that you do amazing things in the lives of our people. It's your great, amazing name we pray in Jesus. Amen. 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 All right, guys. Thank you all for coming. Caleb, especially yes. for you. And then Heidi, we'll definitely be praying for you. My eyes were closed, but God's was not. He sees your prayer request. Yes. All right, it was guys. so fun. Bye, guys. See ya.